Hi everybody, hi dear, on this absolutely beautiful, miserable day. So it is what we make it today, isn't it? I've no plans, so not worried about anything. Just a school room to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, today we're going to use a stamping wheel. Um, purely because it's a stamping wheel to do... Um, I'll call it a wreath. Some people use it for mandalas. Um, but I've never used it for what, I suppose, what its actual purpose was when it was brought out. I've used it instead of a normal stamping platform because this gives me 100% the same print if I do it twice. Whereas my Misty and my um, Tim Holtz one, it moves. I just cannot get it to stay. So, this is my absolute must. Yes, it's expensive. I think it's about 90 quid. But it's one of the best things in my room. And well worn already, as you can see. I've tried to clean it before I've come on. I don't know where that yellow is. I've took it out and everything and still don't know where it is. These marks, I've put on myself. I found the centre of the... Um, base... And this is the card size that I use, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. So I've just marked it on myself. I've marked it underneath and there in case it comes off. So it's there. Right, right quick before we get started. I ain't asked for ages, but if you guys um, would like to help me by um, sharing the video, um, tell your friends about us, tell them about our Facebook group which is getting really busy all of a sudden. Loads of people joining it. Um, that's Heidi the Arch Crafter for those that are, are new to us. And also, um, the Buy Me A Coffee. I'm always going to link now in the description box. So if you guys would like to help me with the postage for sending cards out to you all, which I do constantly, um, then I would be really grateful. All you do is click on the link and just work from there. I can't tell you what happens then because I've never done it. Um, I know you can send what's called a super. And thank you for those that have um, through YouTube. But I don't have a clue how that works. I didn't even know that was set up or anything. But it apparently it is because I've had it sent a few times now. But they buy me a coffee. You just press on the link below. So after all that, I'm not scrounging. It sounds awful. But. I need help with postage, otherwise I'm going to have to drop the birthday list or some of it. Because it's grown rather quickly. Right, let's crack on. Never done a card. Well, it's not a card. This size. Oh, I'm giving you my practice one then. I'm using Hot Press watercolour from Lavinia. And this is seven and a half. It'll be seven and a half. It's huge. I'm not making it into a card. Although I found out the other day, I think it was, was it Cathy on our admin... Um, she makes cards 8 by 8 for, for hand delivering that's crazy I don't well I don't think I have the talent to do an 8 by 8 because that takes some serious um, some serious work it really does I mean this was hard enough and I've got a wheel to do it on I'm trying to get that as straight as possible look what's wrong with me I'm going with it. Right. And I think I've got my stamps in order. I think. Don't shoot me if I don't. But it's me. I might even change my mind. In fact, I'm definitely changing my mind on one. I'll show you my practice at the end. Because then you'll see where my working out came in. So we're using, who have we got? Logan. And I want this stamp to go as far up in that corner as it'll go. Why has it got air on it? Because it's an air. <laughs> oh dear Lord. Shoot me now. Right. So I want his legs out a little bit. I think that'll do. That'll look alright. Let's go with it. So I have a big dot at the top of my platform that is just to tell me that's the top i don't have one opposite on bottom but i have one on the four corners little ones 
to match the sides look isn't that pretty just so i know when i'm turning it so there is some coloring involved in this and all but i'm gonna show you i wanted to leave these airs black in fact the whole project was going to be black and white but i shown it and there no i didn't show it and i'm lying i shown it who did i show it to well i showed it quite a few now at different stages but oh look my daughter absolutely not she didn't want me to do it black and white i thought it was quite nice we all like different don't we so yeah this will be the first time that i've used this for how it was meant to be oh it did it perfect look at that right Andy, please don't get your hands mucky so i'm inking them up again i mean if these was small stamps um you would rotate it on a smaller scale but i purposely used a big stamp because that's what we've stamped if you were on a smaller scale you'd move it one and just keep moving it one i mean could you imagine what oh no it'd just be a mess wouldn't it so i'm moving my big one to the corner so i'm doing like a what's that it's 19 at 90 degree there you go me Don't do maths on rulers or workings out, should I say, but I can do a 90 degree and then we're going to go a 180 and then we're going to go up next one, whatever that is. Is it a 270? I don't know. Right, so the big dot will go to the bottom this time. I think I chose a big stamp. To fill it in pretty quick because we're limited i don't like to go over an hour but i do like my videos to stay around an hour because if, when i do live this is good practice for me because i know well sometimes when i practice like this one i couldn't have done this in an hour without you know just going straight live and doing it don't know what we would have ended up with. Believe it or not, it took me an awful lot of not working out, not working out at all the decision of what to use. So I did send it to Terry, our admin in who's in Florida, and they came back her and her husband telling me that things were coming out of his bum and that my mouse was Grabbing it. Ooh, uh, I didn't see that. And neither did my daughter. And then when I told her, she went, oh, yeah. <laughs> just shows what people see different in things, doesn't it? But I'm still going with it. It took me ages to work out where to put them. Right. Putting you away. And then in the, you know, while I'm doing all this, I'm transferring all my stamps over to... These are the packets I use for all my makes and my Lavinia ones are keeping these and they're getting really awkward because there's so many so I'm moving them all into these and putting them all in little um cartons little buckets should I say like I I do with my others right what did I stamp next right now we're going with the bumblebee and I only put this in one place, but I've had a look and I think I'm going to put it in another as well. So what am I doing? I've got no way around. I'm putting in here. Where am I putting in? Now you see, I don't have the stamp in the same place because there's no room for him now like there was, but I'm still putting him on. He's going there. So because of where my ears are placed each rotation will be 90 degrees so a little thing like this will be really quick there we go oops let me put that upside down there we go 
go. Nice and easy. So all I'm doing is 90 degrees with that one each time. So much easier than what you think. It literally is. It's the planning of what stamp you're going to use, honestly. Right, I'm going to leave the B out. Because I think I'm going to swap it out for a different stamp. So the next stamp I put in was Pippin. And I put Pippin. Actually, let's do... Oh no, I had the stamp out and I don't know where I've put it. Uh-oh. told you I got... Oh, it's there. I'm sorry, I've got everything ready. Now I can't find it. So I want this stamp behind his head. But he got a bit too close to Pippin earlier. So I'll do that first this time. And I'm stamping it in. I think I'm going to change it. I did orange and yellow combined. I'm going to go yellow because there is quite a bit of orange going into it anyway. See, so you still change your mind even when you've decided what you're doing. Well, I don't know what to do now. Look at the state of that. Let's put a tiny bit in. I think the reason I'm going to do one colour is it got a bit, um, started to look a bit mucky and I didn't know why. I think I do know why. I think it's it picked up the green from there. I need to clean that pad. Let's see if this makes it look okay. Yeah, it's starting to do it, look. So I'm just going to stamp on that little bit in the middle there. Same again. I love putting two colours on a stamp. Especially on the little feather. I think it's amazing. Oh, yeah, that's better. I'm actually... I'm going to wipe it off before I do the next one. That's me yellow. And the last one. Do you know what I'm always worried about? You know, you lift your platform up and your stamp falls off. That bothers me. Oh, look, it really did make it mucky and all. Well, that we're after cleaning it. Shouldn't have cleaned it. It's okay. Hopefully you'll be distracted up this end instead of down here. Right. Let's put it away. We'll leave that out because we might still use one out of there. Right, so now we're going pipping. So Pippin's going to be sat on his back. That'll do nicely, thank you. My biggest issue with this, um, I don't want to call it card, what do you call it? Picture. Is what to do with middle. So I did a few things on the practice one, so it looks a, a mess, but... I think I've come up with something. And once this is finished, I have absolutely no idea what's happening with it. Because who does a picture this big and then does not with it? I'm going to double stamp it. <gasps> oh, I didn't put it down right. That's better. Could have always turned it over and started again. I'm trying to go fast because there's colouring to do yet. It wouldn't have been if I'd have had it my way. And I, 
but actually I'm not even keen on the colouring that I chose but no I'm really not I'm looking at it now and I really don't like it I don't know what to do we're colouring with zigs because of the quickest really and the vibrant I've got a few colours inside of me. We'll work on that. See, I could quite happily stop here, but then it's it's lost, isn't it? It's like, what's happening in the middle here, mate? Last one, and then that's pipping done. I think he's the only one that'll be stamping twice, just because he's solid. Yeah, that's... Cool, I'm happy with that. Okay, pop picking. Let's put you there a minute because I might use you. Right, this was the bit where he had something coming out of his bum. So this is where I'm thinking to put another bumblebee. Like on his leg. Do you know what? That might look all right because we're coming in here. Where is it? With the little roses from the steampunk. If I put a big rose there, I can't remember where the little rose were going. No, I didn't. I put the little rose there and the big one there. That's what I did. Right, bumblebee first then. Because I'm doing the roses in a different colour, otherwise I would have stamped them at the same time. In fact, let's do that. Because I'll just put them on a different part. So, this is something different I'll show you now. Where's my colour first? Here it is. This is what colour I'm doing my roses, which is Chianti. And then we'll do Mr Bumble at the same time. It's a lot better if you can do it like this, because then when you move, move it round, Obviously, you're getting more done at the, in one go. So, 90 degrees. So, that's complete. The bee's completing that one for now. And then we're just moving around. So much easier if you can do more than one at a time. Like I say, putting this picture together is not a problem once you've chosen your stamps. It's the colouring in that's a bit of a. Where am I? I'm on this one, aren't I? So when it comes to colouring in, we're just going to go with it and not worry about the um, colours. Otherwise, that's when you're just here forever. Right, last turn. Right in there. Oh, I've got myself all panicked then. I thought I'd done it wrong. There you go. How much quicker was that doing a few at a time? Now I am going to leave my roses out. My bumble can be put away now. I've got a load of little stamps in front of me here. Still, because I'm, um, it's like this one doesn't have a name because I don't know what it's called and it's all the arts together. So I've got my paperwork to go through to sort them all out after. Oh, it has to stay out for the paperwork. Right. So what was next? Oh, the mouse is next. Let's have a look. Now then. Let me see. Oh, I need that mouse out. That doesn't belong in there. 
So I went with this one and hung him all down to the paw and then the leg, look. Mm, I see it now. Where would the other one hang? Let's have a look at this. Same, isn't it? Oh. I like that one being further up there though because it covers in where I made a stamp. Um, oh, I don't know what to do now. I didn't even keep the stamp out that goes in there. Or did I? Let's have a look. No, I didn't. Nay, lass. I thought I kept everything out. Right, so okay, we can use um where's it gone? That's the one we used. Let's have a look at you. Either way it's gonna end up holding on to something, isn't it? Just wondering what to put in here. In fact, the little rose can go in there. And where's the big It's not going to fit. Tell you what, let's just put the mouse in. Let's just crack on. Just wondering what else can go in there. Right, some will go in it. So we're using one of the mice, and I don't know what they're called. Three woodland mice, or Mini and Moo, Tango and Buddha. Oh, I found it. That's the one we're using to go in there. And that's the one that was coming out of his bum. And now we've got a bumblebee instead. Right, let's stamp our mouse up in acorn. Because we are going to, not double stamping, we're going to colour with, what is, it? what is that? It's got air all over it. I'll blame Rosie for that one. Yeah, we are going to add a bit of zig colour into it, so not a lot, just put a bit, a bit darker in as well. So that should work perfect. Try to keep me eye on time. We've stamped a lot to say. We haven't been going that long and we've had a natter. Or I've had a, a natter. Does anybody know about going live? Do I have, you know when they're reading your comments, do I have to have a full computer in front of me or can I just have something outside of me where I can read your comments? I'm not bothered about seeing the picture, am I? I don't think, am I? I'm ready to go live, I think. Oh. I want to talk to everybody now. It's been a year. I said I'd do it. And I'm ready. So I just need some helping... Like getting my laptop set up and I'd have to clear everything off back so I can see. Yeah, actually, I would be able to see it if I cleared everything from there. I've only got my brushes there and my inks that I'm using now. So there's definitely room for it. It's not a full size laptop anyway. I don't know what you call them. It's only a bit of one. A bit of one. <laughs> it's only a little one. Right, where's where have I just put the mice? There you go. Let's just stick that away a minute. That's done. I love cleaning it up as I'm going along. Right, this is the little leaf from the oak leaves. 
and it's just going in there just to fill that space and I'm going to stamp it in the same brown I think yeah I might as well have got it out or did I use the darker brown yes I did that's why this is out fallen leaves I like this colour it's very dark but I like it Quick stamp. Oh, we've got that spot on, I think. Ninety degrees. Quick stamp. I don't know what I'm doing. Where have I gone? Oh my goodness. Me try to teach you and I can't even do it myself. Now that way. Done. Sorted. I just love how quick it is. Let's put that away. putting them all away behind me as we go on so I don't have to do it after right then what is missing now I'm looking at my other one so I've got that that no nope, coming out of his bum but I've now got that that's done that's done that's it I think that's all the stamping but I've shown it to her and he says you're making it look like ring of ring of roses grandma and I'm like how does he know that how does he know what Ring of Ring of Roses is? He's seven years old. But apparently he did. He says, put some more roses on, Grandma. So I did. So this is why I kept the little rose out. I might put one there. Or is it just too much? There's another flower, isn't there? Where's that one? Um, dun, 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 dun. Well, what we're going to put in the middle is the spiral of stars, I've decided. And then we're going to put some across there. So I don't really want out coming in there. And I think maybe that's just too much if I do out else. I am, you see, I'm going to blend around the edge. This, this is what I said to you, this is the hardest part for me, is deciding what to put on. I've got my little butterfly here. Nope. Nope. No, right. I've got to go with one of them. I've got, I need to put some in here because I don't like that space. Let's me let me just put some ink on it and see. Oh wet the back of it to make it stick. I'm glad I didn't put that straight on my work. This is a piece of watercolour card. Do we want that there? I do. I'm going with that. I just want to stick to the yellow. Oh, why have I done it by hand? Oh, I'm going to do it by hand. I'm not. I can't. Right, let's put it in. In there, and I'm going to do it with yellow. Just put this yellow in and then the actual 
pitch is finished, apart from the thing in the middle. I could have put a bit of orange in that, couldn't I? Yeah, that didn't look right. I wonder, I've got an orange zip pen. See what that does. What chip ruin it all now? Hmm. I'll have to do it on others though, won't I? It's not the best. But there's plenty to go on yet, so I'm not worried about it. Right, it's done. I'm going to do this bit at the end, I think, because I want to use like a powder. I was going to emboss it, um, gold. Right, let's just put that there a minute. That's finished, isn't it? Just put this one away. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water on the side and get the little brush and I'm just gonna see if that'll budge that out a bit. No, it's not doing it. Or put a bit of yellow on the bed, the orange there, because I'm not keen on the stark orange in it. Why is it not taking? That's better. Oh, that looks a lot better. I'm just going to quickly do that. Well, we're going to move to colouring now anyway. Yeah, they're just not going to be um, exact, but you won't really tell. I like a bright um, yellow, but I really do think that needed killing off a little bit. Oh, it's moving now, is the one in the middle. There you go. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yay. Right, let's do some colouring. So firstly, for the bumblebees, I'm just going to put a tiny dot of orange. Did you know the bum on a bumblebee is white? You do know. And I'm just going in with yellow and dragging that orange out a bit. Start this side and then drag that orange out. It just blends in lovely. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? Can you see that? It's so simple. Yeah, and I'm leaving it in here to colour. It's easier. I really don't know what to do with airs because I didn't like any of the colours I chose myself. maybe one and then I don't know what colour it was now so in fact I think it were watercolour pencils and I'm not using them now when this is finished I'll put some um, 
Wing Costella on the wings. That didn't seem to spread like that one. Let's just do one at a time. That's better. I really am not keen on them, so I will put a gem in the middle of them. Maybe a gold gem would look nice in the middle. Just see how it all comes together first. There's quite a bit of orange going on to it when we've finished. You know, around the edges. There we go, your bumblebees are done. See, it makes a difference already, doesn't it? Um, let's go to the mouse and put some water down. I'm literally going to put a bit of dark brown on the bottom. And a little bit Coming through there. Actually, I might do it the same way I've just done that, you know. I put the brown down on there. Let's have a look. Obviously, the ink that I've stamped in with is not going to move because it's um, permanent. Yeah, do you know what? Let's do it. This is going to be the quickest way for all of them, I think. Just to give them a different... Yeah. Hint of colour. What's going on there? There's an air on that as well. Goodness me. And when he's dry, I'll put marks in for his hips. But I'm alright with that. You might think there's not a lot of difference, but there really is. So you can still see the other brown through it, but this gives it a... It's like a two-tone mouse. If you don't want to do the painting on top, just stamp him twice. And you'll have, the, you'll have a dark darker like colour and then you can just put his hips in with a, a white, what do I want to call it? A white gel pen. That's what I want to call it. Oh no, look what I've done. I've put my hand all over it. Oh, for goodness sake. I really have, I know. Oh wow, might be a bit too late now. See if I were alive, you'd have been able to shout at me. You're messing it up. Can't believe I've just done that. There you go. When I think that's dry, I'm just going to give it a rub over. Get me rub it out. See if one of these will work. Yeah, it has. It's working, isn't it? <sighs> Can't believe that. I'm not bothered about middle. There's a banner going through it. 
Oh, I've, now I've just smudged it anyway. Right, I'm just going to leave that bit for now. Even round edges look a oh, diff. Let me just get that bit there. There we go. Now, clean side of my hand. Oh no, it's marked my mat. Well, right, the next bit is. This is a little piece of watercolour card that I keep at side just for a bit of colouring. Right, where's that piece of paper? <clears throat> I'm going to put a tiny bit of that colour, which is light brown, and I'm going to brush it out with light beige. Now you see, that's the colour that I want in my hair. Not the hair on my head, although I wouldn't mind that. Happy with that. So a little bit of that. It's so easy. anybody booked the summer holidays yet? I've looked, I found some but uh, you know we went to Turkey which you obviously know we went in August last year and I said never again, I'm not doing that again, sorry my colouring is not the best I'm trying to not go over an hour um, yeah, so you all know that I I can't cope with the sun it's spreading it just through paper. Wait a minute. That's me. Kitchen towel. Yeah, so um to go to Turkey in August. Oh no. And guess what I found? Nice cheap holiday in August to Turkey. And I'm so tempted. I just know I don't like it. I'm trying to work out what did I use? Right, we're going with these. Um, um, um. Let me look at this pink. I did some pink and blue, so let's go. Look how filthy that is around there. Let's, um,. This is what I like about not having to be perfect about colouring. I'm only using two colours and I look like I've used three there. I love it. And put a bit of glossy accents on it. Oh, um, Wink Costello looks fantastic. I've not, I've not gone. I'm still here. I'm just holding my breath a bit. Yeah, so what, what have you all got booked? Be nice to get some different ideas. At the moment, we're not going anywhere because we can't afford it, but hoping that... Well, I, see, I found a holiday. I'm going to go to the travel agents and see if they'll price match because I don't like booking an holiday online. I like to do it, uh, you know, face to face. So if I've got any problems, I can go and see somebody face to face because there's not enough of that anymore. You've got insurance problems or 
even your banking, it's all done online or and it's people abroad that you've got to talk to. I like a face to face um appointment if I'm dealing with stuff that involves money and things. I can't be only one. We take Toby on holiday with us every year, twice a year. And he's asked, can we go to Florida this year, Grandma? He says, and ne next year, will you take me to Mexico? I'm like, wow, you don't want a lot, do you, kid? Right, I might do some more of that colour. I'm just going to do an orange and yellow. Um, do, 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 do. Or is there enough orange and yellow there? Hmm. What does pink and yellow do? Let's have a look. I quite like that. Let's go. Pink right edges. Well, it, it gives it a pinky orange, so. And if I leave some pink round edge, that's okay. Um, oh, I really don't want to colour the hairs in, but I'm going to have to. I just, I don't think I'm very good at colouring, you know, large things in. I'm not even turning the wheel. That's good, isn't it? Right. The last bit is the... Yes. Oh, I did that wrong way around, didn't I? Oh, I wish I'd done others like that now. Oh, well. Oh, I like that. Happy accidents. Right, we're doing it. We're going for air. Oh. So, first of all, where's my pink gun? Actually, first of all, I'm going to use a pink watercolour pencil. And just do the ear. So it's only, you only see it inside of one ear. I'm tempted to do the the hairs with the pencil. So get a little bit of water and brush that pencil out. I'll do it this way. Even that might be too pink, but if it is. It's easy, just add some water and drag it back out. Even touch it with your kitchen towel and it'll bring it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's the pink I wanted. Yeah, I don't, it's a bit too dark for my liking, but inside of an ear is that. But that's perfect. It's so easy with pencils, isn't it? Because it does it all for you. That's what I can do. I'll use the pencils because what I don't like, I can lift back up, can't I? It's been the only thing stopping me from actually doing this. Oh, I've put yellow in it now. Don't... I shouldn't have done that. Don't put pencil where... It's already wet. You will rip your paper. That's all right. Right, put me right way around. Right, let's do him in pencil. So I'm using two different pencils actually. I'm using the, I don't know how you say that, Stead, Stedler. I don't know what colour it is. I don't have a colour on it. And I'm using the very broken. What am I using? I'm using Van Gogh. 
Oh, they're the Van Gogh. I won't tell you there, look at that. As if I can't see that. Right, let's do it. So, in the light places, like I've said many a time, Tracy's done all the shading for you and that makes a massive, massive difference. So I'm just roughly, scruffily, putting in the lighter colour where the um, unshaded bits are. And then with the darker, I have to be careful with that because it's broke. I don't want it to spin off and mark my paper. Yeah, so where the shading is, I'm just putting the darker. And fingers crossed, when I put water to it, it'll work just how I want it. Sorry if I keep getting in your way with my arm. In that scruffy drawing. I mean, some people, even with watercolour pencils, make it look good. And that's before they put water to it. I can't do that. There, look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> Right, let's get some water to it. Where's my bigger brush? Just going to spray some water on the side. Now what I do is I dip my brush in the water. Oh, it's already mucky. Dip my brush in the water and tap it out so you're not taking a full load of um, wet to the hair. So I'm going to start with my light a bit. And then pulling me darker. And if you want to add darker and what have you, I can't do what I call it there. Let it dry first or help it dry. I would normally use um, a thinner brush, but I think we need to, what time are we? Yeah, we need to be on the move a bit. We're doing all right. I mean, it's a big piece, isn't it? Now, this has turned out better than what I thought it was going to do colour-wise. I'm glad I decided to go with pencils. I'll use the little brush for this when I get it. Yeah. Right, back in with the darker. Could probably have done with a bit more dark wear. You learn it yourself. Right, more dark here. Do you know what it reminds me of? I mean, I, I don't know when they stopped doing them, but you know when you were young and you used to get a colouring book and you wet it and painting magic, magically appeared behind it? Do you remember it used to paint it for you? Please don't tell me it's just me. I'm happy with that. Leave it alone. I just want to give him a, a pink nose. I don't know why. See what he does need at all. A blue eye. I'm doing all of the eye blue so you can see it I'd have preferred a darker blue but that'll do I'm all right with that let's do your nose while we're at it right I'm going to turn it round I'm going to try and do it without touching it Where's my pencils? I can't, but I don't want to use that one because I've just used it. So, same again. Now we know what we're doing. Go in scruffy. Go in scruffy and come out perfect. I'd like a bit more darker on it to play with.
I missed the side of his ear, didn't I? Oh no, what was that? No, is that it? They're not going to look identical because it would take me forever. Let's go with it. Let's see what happens. Where's my bigger brush? Wet it. Tap it off. Go for it. It's a nice colour that, isn't it? It sort of brings in the orange from everywhere else, doesn't it? Wet it and tap it. Yep, Rose is waking up. Yeah, still not enough dark. Maybe less of the light. Up, um, more of the dark, it'll pull it through better. Although that's all right now. Nice that other one. Look how it's dried. Oh, I hope it dries the same, otherwise that's really odd. Come on guys, we're nearly done. Yes, I'm holding my breath on them bits. I don't want to ruin it now. Or is it because I've been lent on it that it's soaked a bit up? All right with that. What do you think, guys? Is that looking all right? Gosh, that's very orange. Gone off edge, but I've gone off edge. That's it. Deal with it. Right, same again. Not as much orange. It's not orange. So, the Van Gogh, I personally think then, doesn't give off a stronger colour. I mean, that's a dark colour I'm putting on, and there's not a lot of it. It's not showing very dark, is it? Oh. Pink. Oh. Gone off edge, it's right. Right, um, dark. So I'm putting more dark on. I suppose I should have just stuck with what I was doing really to get them all to match. Let's try that. Wet and dab. Stuck. <laughs> now I don't know if I like it without, you know, with not as much of that colouring. I mean, I can always add it later, it's not a problem. Just get this done. Right. 
there we go. See, I like it better up there. You can see the dark around the ears. Let's have a look. That looks just like the first one. So I'm all right with that, that'll do. Oh, I didn't put any color there. Right, last one. I'm glad the colour of it now. I know it's an hour already. I won't be long, I promise. So I've already got my mat and layer cut. But I wanted you to see the middle, I really do. Um, I'm going as quick as possible. I'll mat and layer it offline because that doesn't matter, you all know. You've seen me do that many a time. I do want to show you the middle. Thank you for bearing with me. It is still here. It is still here. Let me know if you're still here. Let me know that you made it to end. I don't want to be here on my own. Nice and easy. I love the pink nose. And I've messed up round here. Right guys, it's done. I took everything to the side. I just want the black marker, which is what I'm going to use to show the hips of the mice. I didn't want to use white. I've done it in white before and I didn't like it. This is the bit now, it's all the final touches, isn't it? So the wings I'll obviously do offline as well. I'm just going to use um, Wink Stella pen. I'm going to put something in the middle of these flowers. Um, I'm just going to show you the middle now. So what I've done... Oops. What I've done here, in fact, I'm glad I've done it because I don't have to do it now. The word magical on the stencil. And I used yellow, orange, and just one with a bit of red on. And that's how it came out. So I thought I'll keep that. And then I decided to mat and layer it in the same colours. I'm just roughly doing this. So the, these are the same colours that are going to go on underneath the one we've just done. So when I finish, that will be there. That looks so much better already, doesn't it? Right, the last stamp is a swirl. I'm just wetting it because yuck, it didn't stick, did it? But I'm going to emboss it in gold. I 
I want to take my picture off without creasing it. There we go. Don't know if I just did that. I promise I'm nearly done. I'll just do this one bit and then I'll go. I'll do the edging after. I'm using Hero Arts embossing powder. Even with a brush, it still sticks. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed having you here with me. Oh, is that it again? She's looking at my feet. Right guys, that's it, we're done. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really, really do appreciate your time. I'm just going to go on now. I'm going to stencil. I'm not going to stencil, but that's when I stenciled. I'm just going to do it orange and truffle. And those were all the different backgrounds that I did in the middle. So I'm going to get out of your way and you'll see the finished project with um, on the photos. I'm mumbling because I'm getting panicked. Right, I'm off. See you later, guys. Bye.